starting another video. This one's going to be about fasting. I just got done with a seven day fast last week. It went good. It went well, I should say. And I did water and juice every day. I drank about a cup of water and a half of a cup of juice per hour on average for the full seven days. And I was also taking cleansing products like uh, colon cleansing tablets at night and there's a tea that I ordered off the internet it's called Cystis Incanus tea rock rose tea and it uh, is really astringent as well as all the juices I was drinking are also very astringent juices um, so which means it cleans it's like a soap inside your system so this is something that I'm going to be doing more. So I've done it, the longest fast that I've done before this was two days. And um, that was you know, a few months ago. But I do intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting every single day. Almost every single day. And that's just the process of you know, going your first, say your first like, you know, six or seven waking hours without eating and then also going you know at least three hours before bedtime without eating so if you get like that three hour gap plus like another you know six or five or six hour gap after you wake up then that ends up being you know that ends up being like 17 hours right there so that's intermittent fasting it's just eating for like a six hour window of the day you know so for instance I eat from you know I usually eat from like 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. or something like that so it's like a six hour window just like I said so that's what I usually do that's called intermittent fasting which is good um, but then there's just outright fasting you know for like days at a time which is what I'm talking about today and the reason why you'd want to do this is because it allows your allows your system, your lymphatic system, to unclog and to get a fresh start. Because most people's lymphatic systems are clogged to a certain extent. Some people's more than others, but everyone to a certain extent has you know, could use improvement with their function with many of the systems in their body, but especially the lymphatic and the digestive, and that's what this is getting into. This process is the quickest, cheapest, most effective, and easiest ways to naturally and dramatically improve your health. And it's easy because it's all about routine. It's all in your head. It's all about the way that you think about it. So if you think about it as far as like what is, you know, like what goes into it, it's about diet. It's about your daily choices. Most people are used to the fast routine of getting food from either the grocery store. That's like the best case scenario is the grocery store. And usually that food is highly processed. And that's the best case scenario for most people. So, what I want to stress is that ever since I changed my habits, everything has gone much smoother. It's all about habits. Like, what are you, what are you investing your energy, your money, and your time into? Are you investing it into relationships or you're investing it into entertainment or you're investing it into you know family what are you investing your time and energy into and how can you better manage it in a healthy way so for instance like with me I've been on a healing you know in a healing process for the last 
like four years or something, ever since I took it into my own hands, ever since I stopped listening to what doctors say, because they, you know, don't take it from me, do your own research, you know, I don't want to tell you how to feel, but as far as my own concern is that I do not take the advice of medical practitioners. I look at YouTube and I know from personal experience what works and what doesn't work and what actually makes sense. And now that I now that I eat a healthy diet, my brain functions properly. So I'm able to think I'm able to think uh, you know, critically and objectively and you know, understand that these simple things are the most important things to consider every day. Is that it's simple, you know, like what <clears throat> what's better, processed or unprocessed? Unprocessed. You know, what's better, something that comes from comes from a tree or something that comes from a a factory? You know, you want it to be as close to nature as possible. The more processed it is, the more you want to stay away from it. Your body is your temple. Your body is your sacred temple. It is your ticket to this dimension. <clears throat> Without a body, you are not allowed to be in this dimension anymore. Gone. No more. Your body is like a car. It's like I treat my body like a like a Maserati. I put nothing in it that is not the absolutely best option that I have at that time. I invest as much money as I am able to in what I consume. I consume the top quality ingredients that I am able to consume. It's not a joke, it's very serious. Directly related to your health is what you eat every day. It actually changes your DNA. That's how vitamins work. That's how all the nutrients that you ingest work. And if your system is blocked, and if your digestive system is blocked, you're not actually you're not actually able to absorb vitamins and nutrients properly. Malabsorption. Look it up. Yeah, don't believe anything that I say here. This is just me talking to a camera. Do your own research. This is just my personal experience. So yes, it's about absorption. So when you absorb things properly, it changes your DNA, changes your DNA. That's how actually vitamins and uh, antioxidants and all that type of stuff, all the nutrients that you ingest, all the omegas, everything, it's all about absorption. If it's able to be absorbed properly, then that's that's critical. That's why people have uh, gray hair and whatnot because they can't absorb properly anymore. So it's all about absorption, not to you know, put down people with gray hair. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just about knowing how the body works. And do you want your body to be, like think going back to the car thing, do you want it to be a rundown car that's out of shape and that's always breaking down? No. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants their car to be like that. Nobody wants, to, especially nobody wants their body to be like that. You want your body to be functioning properly. You want it to be working at its peak optimal level at all times. Fasting is a cheat, like a really quick way to cheat the process and just to get it done, get it knocked out, get your system cleaned, cleansed. Because anytime you're trying to uh, heal, cleansing comes first. If you want to do, you know, if you want to rearrange your room, well, it's not the best example. But yes, it's all about cleaning. Cleaning your system and having optimal health and getting into the right frame of mind and mind and thinking about it from the right perspective. It's actually very easy. It's just a matter of you know, getting your habits in order and having the correct habits and the correct way of thinking about it and not buying into the you know commercials and all the all the advertisements for all this processed food 
there's all this processed food that's being pushed on everyone. And every day I have to turn down, you know, some offer it seems like for food from somebody, family or somebody. I'm just like, no, I can't eat that. I only allow the best. And that's what I'm pushing for in this YouTube series. It's just the first video I'm going to make more. All right.